Let's talk about local exports, a great way to share a clone of a site with others. As a matter of fact, you may be watching this video because someone has shared a local export with you. In this video, I'll show you how to use exports to get set up with a pre-configured environment with just a few clicks. Now, I've already got the local development environment up and running on my machine. If you don't have local yet, it's available for a free download at localwp.com. Now, creating an export is as simple as taking any site in local, make sure that it's running, and right-click export. This generates a zip file that includes the entire site. Now, what if someone wants to share an export with you? How do you import it? There are two ways you can do it. First, you can go to File, Import, and select the zip file you want to import, or you can simply drag the exported zip into local. Once you do that, you'll have the opportunity to rename the site if you want to, select your environment options, and click Import Site. You may be asked to provide a password for your computer user, and voila, it's as simple as that. From local, we can open up WP Admin and log in with the user credentials provided with the export. You can either create a new user or edit the credentials of the existing admin user, whatever you prefer. Just like that, you're up and running with your pre-configured environment, ready to experiment or build your next project.